What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Rick One Ball, coming at you again with yet another classic. If you don't know what I'm doing, I'm making sure I cover each and every NBA game to provide you with up-to-date sports analysis, as well as my opinion on these games. Now, we got to get into Frankie V, head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers. In 2018, no, 2018, Luke Walton was the head coach. But in 2019, Frank Vogel was the head coach, and... The Lakers didn't make the playoffs. LeBron went down with a big injury, and we all know how that season played out. But in the 2021 season, the Lakers go on this magical run, end up winning the championship in the NBA bubble, and Frank Vogel, uh, I wouldn't say he got a lot of credit. He got some credit because everybody knew LeBron and Anthony Davis was majority uh, was going to get more majority of that pie. But Frank Vogel, he got some of the credit. Fast forward into now 22 season, Lakers and has some downright embarrassing losses. I mean, some losses where I'm pretty sure the organization doesn't even want to take no responsibility for these type of losses. You getting your ass whipped by the Kings, Memphis. Now, even Memphis is a good team, so I'm not putting them out there like that. But you getting your ass beat by whoever, and I know the organization is not pleased about it. Well, now, we, now what needs to be said is that it's been a lot of a lot of media chirps and everything like that about Frank Vogel. And now I'm hearing that pretty much he's on a day-to-day -day contract. Pretty much after that embarrassing loss that he took to the Denver Nuggets where they got their ass blew out by like 40 points, if he'd had another game like that back-to-back, -back, they would have shipped his ass out right then. But what I'm hearing in close to NBA circles and, and as well as ESPN and FS1 is saying, this man is on a day-to-day -day contract. Now, do I think that's fair for Frank Vogel? Yeah, I, I really do because I feel like sometimes you do need a new voice in that locker room. And I feel like his voice is drowned out. Even though he won a championship with the same team, well, not with the same team because they actually moved some pieces. I actually believe that if they did not move those pieces like a JaVale McGee and some of those other key pieces like the uh, like the Caldwell Pope and the uh, and the, um, well, uh, uh, number 15, they used to play for the, I can't think of his name, uh, the real rough and rugged center. If they didn't move those pieces, I think Frank Vogel's voice would still be loud in the locker room. Coach Fisdale, who was the head coach of the New York Knicks, and he was on the staff when LeBron was in Miami, they're saying that he might be the, uh, the shoe-in for the position if they get rid of Frank Vogel. Now, do I think that, uh, you know, Fitzdale will be, you know, proven? And, and No, I don't, I don't think he's proven. I just think LeBron likes him more, and that's why he would get an opportunity to even be the head coach. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the chat. Let me know. Uh, should they get rid of Frank Vogel? Do you think that he deserves this type of treatment? Let me know in the comments. It's your boy, Rick One Ball. Like, comment, subscribe. Woo! Little, little, I feel like Michael in the middle. Middle, I'm going hard just a little. Shit. Ain't nobody fucking with him. <laughs> say, hey, say I'm home, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I've been smoking so much weed, I'm in my zone, bro.